Uh, hello there and welcome to Reykjavik Greipa's newscast. My name is Valu Grattison. I'm an editor in chief at Reykjavik Greipa. Uh, we are here back, of course, to the volcano. We used to call this Geldingardals course, uh, but this is officially not a valley anymore, like a, a castration valley or the wither valley. It has nothing to, to do with horses, by the way. Uh, the Geldingardalur is, uh, it has all the, everything to do about castrated ramps. So we call it Wither Valley if you want to be very uh, accurate about it. But the Icelandic word Gelting also means castration in English. Anyways, but we're here in the west side of the volcano. Uh, there has a lot of, been a lot of changes like always. And a dramatic one, which is uh, the first volcano has gone uh, silent. It's just, uh, it's not there anymore. But don't worry, there are a lot of volcanoes still going on. Uh, so uh, right back into this. This lava here uh, is so thick, it's actually 16 meters in average. Not, not, this is not, of course, 16 meters, but when you look at the, the old valley, it's 16 meters at average. Uh, you can see this one, you can even see inside here, this is like uh, full of fire, uh, and this could actually just come down at any minute. Uh, I think we're safe, but not sure about it, so let's get out of this uh, zone as quickly as we can. Uh, one of the, the new, biggest news right now is that when I last show you the, the valley of Mer, or Meradalur, uh, it was, uh, the, the lava had uh, stopped. It was just, uh, it was cooling lava there, but no active volcano that was spewing anymore. But the thing is that uh, these volcanoes over there as now uh, they are producing so much that uh, some of it is actually going now down to Meradalur, which is incredibly interesting because Meradalur will then change a lot, of course, exactly like Keltingadalur, which is, of course, not a valley or dalur, it's just uh, whatever, it's just a lava. And we are actually waiting very anxiously after getting a new name on this lava. Uh, we don't know exactly when it will be. The competition is, I think, still going on in Grindavik. And then they have to choose the name. They have to send it to the Ministry of Education, uh, or Culture, sorry, which is the same minister. Uh, and uh, they will say yes or no about the name. So, uh, uh, the activity is still very stable. Uh, I told you actually it went from five cubic meters per second up to eight cubic meters per second, uh, but it's now back down to five cubic meters per second. This is incredibly little. And I, I saw in my comments that uh, a lot of people are quite like surprised how small this actually is. Uh, like this is only one square meter now, the, the whole area that the lava is on. So it is not much to talk about, but it's a friendly one. So the smaller the better, that means that we can get closer and it's a, it's a very touristic, uh, it's a very good thing for tourism. In other news, we had actually an earthquake which was 4.1 uh, in magnitude. Uh, it was, it was uh, uh, like a strong one. We felt it in Reykjavik as well as, of course, here. Uh, its origin was in Grindavik near Mount Thorbjörn. Uh, and everybody thought like, okay, does this mean that we were going to have an, a second volcano actually close to Grindavik? The answer is no. Uh, the reason is uh, this was like, uh, there was, was still tension after all the activity, seismic activity, uh, when all of these like, we had like up to 3000 earthquakes a day almost. Uh, so this was more or less just uh, like, a, <laughs> like the last one uh, and now we should be done with it, I guess. Uh, so it's, uh, it could be one or two, but uh, 4.1 in magnitude in Iceland is not that much. We can feel it, but it's nothing to, I mean, nothing breaks in that uh, situation. Uh, also, the first, uh, the first one, Southy and Northy, and uh, a lot of you call it Bob. And I want, before I go there, uh, Bob, yeah. I saw there were a lot of people kind of hurt when I was asking people not to, <laughs> to call it Bob. Uh, I would even call it like a volcano elitist, which is absolutely my favorite. Uh, some told me that I was a hypocrite for actually uh, saying that wasn't cool, but then I named one like Mini Me or Little John or whatever, and you're all absolutely right. 
it. Uh, you, you can, of course, name these uh, volcanoes, whatever you want to. And it's a beautiful society, I see, uh, like in this uh, live uh, versions. A lot of people are, uh, like, uh, watching this the whole time, and it means a lot for them. And I, th I think it's absolutely wonderful. So I think these n names are funny and, and they are actually appropriated in, in many ways. So, I mean, just you do you and call, call it whatever you want to. Uh, I, I was, it was a bad joke when I said that. So, I uh, hope nobody was way too offended. But the first one, Bob, or Southie or Northie, or whatever you would call it, uh, it had turned completely silent, uh, meaning that this... Uh, this uh, uh, we only can see... Like, we saw it last time we visited here. Like, uh, like one of them was gone off, while the other one was quite active. Uh, it's only, like, smoke right now. So, uh, meaning that... Uh, where, where are we? Meaning that... Uh, uh, the, the, like the first dramatic moment, you could see it, of course, in our first mo video from the from this area. Uh, I mean, it's quite the moment that it's gone now. So, I mean, it is what it is. Like I said, uh, we hope that it will we will uh, wake up again, but perhaps it, perhaps it won't. Perhaps uh, it will possibly just come up in another place. Yeah, I don't know if you hear the helicopters like I do, but they are very annoying, especially when you try to talk. So, uh, finally, I want to tell you one last thing. And this is, and this is quite uh, interesting. The thing is that uh, because the, 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 like the, the possibilities are that this uh, volcano could go on for uh, years, uh, I mean, historically, you could actually say that it could go on for like hundreds of years. Uh, we had had one uh, volcano in this area going on for 200 uh, years. Can you, can you see this here? Show them the, the beautiful lava waterfall there. Anyways, this will, of course, let's say that this will go on for 10 years. Uh, in the end, we will definitely have a problem because the lava is going so, uh, like, I uh, wouldn't say quickly over, but it will become so big that it could actually threaten the existence of, for, for example, our, our hydro plant, uh, Svartsengi, or the Blue Lagoon, or even the town of Grindavik. So, uh, we have now what we call uh, the engineering firm Verkis. Uh, it's just a name, Verkis. It's also impossible to understand this in Icelandic. Uh, and they are going to do quite interesting uh, experiments in this area, possibly in Meradalir, where they're going to do like a protective wall. And they are going to try to see if they can actually uh, like move the lava to uh, like change the direction of the lava to other uh, places. Meaning that if you would have like, uh, if Mount Thorbjörn, for example, would go off very close to Grindavik, we would have tools to combat that in some ways. Uh, I haven't seen this, like, they haven't started this, but it's definitely incredibly interesting kind of project. It could be, like, I mean, Icelanders are quite immensely when it comes to battling, uh, battling this. We, we figured out uh, in 73, in Vestmanea, the Vestman Island, uh, when LTA erupted, we figured that we could use water uh, to uh, slow down the lava and even, like, f like uh, completely stop it. Uh, so it's, like, it's worth checking out because this is perhaps the new reality in, in the peninsula of Reykjanes, which is very close to towns and, of course, the city. The city is only, like, I think, 40 kilometers away from here. So uh, we have to find some uh, smart ways to do this, I guess. But uh, the volcano itself, the lava, this is just so different from what it was. Uh, the, the craters, the, the, the fissures, they are just... Uh, we don't even really, like, uh, recognize mo many of them again. Uh, also, the wind has been kind of weird, so we, we haven't been able to go on the other side. We'll definitely try to do that next time. But until then, of course, uh, like and subscribe, but only if you like it. Uh, we really don't want to like if you don't like it, but... <laughs> okay, I mean, do what do you, like, like I said before. And, uh, uh, yeah, just uh, have a nice day. Okay.